Okay, hello everyone. Thank you for joining on this another live stream today. So this is the 1st of August and this is on Wednesday. So it looks like markets are active uh, still. I have seen some trending pairs in markets. Gold is going up right now and the oil is going down and CAC fronts and Nifty indexes uh, broke the previous resistance level and now going up. So um, yeah, I will cover these markets uh, and I will just share my views and which one to, um, to uh, we have a good opportunity to take trades. So um, let me squeeze my face and start the stream right now. Okay, so just a quick disclaimer, uh, this information today is um, based on my own analysis and uh, experience and knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your risk management. And also if you can follow the guidelines rules on this live stream, that will be great. So any trades, anyone? Anybody trading right now or not? Uh, let me take a vote quickly. I just stay, I just ask, are you trading now? And that will be yes or no question. Okay. So while waiting for that result, let me just hi to everyone. So uh, yeah, Asif and Batsheet, thank you for joining. Suresh, Anthony, Tauro, and Daluk. David, Frank, and Sarosh, Bill, and Wong, thank you for joining as well. Great to see you here. Robert and um, yeah, Johnny, thank you for joining. Great to see you. So uh, yeah, looks like uh, we have some active markets. So I will cover the Frex pairs first. I, I want to focus three pairs, as the title says. So first, I would like to focus on the pound CAD and also USDJPY and Euro Swiss franc. And then I cover gold and WTI oil and then CAC franc and Nifty. So yeah, let's see. So I think, um, yeah, I think we have some op opportunities today. Yeah, gold's going up right now. Yeah, Daluk and uh, Trun says gold is, yes, going bullish right now. In one hour chart, it's going up but I don't trade gold right now yet because I'm still waiting for the breakout of the resistance level. So I will cover that in a minute also. So um, yeah, just giving you a quick update is that the, uh, I am actually, I got the Windows desktop PC finally, but still this live stream is through the MacBook, but uh, in, in a couple of, couple of days I will switch my stream and also the live stream and analysis and my system to Windows. So before doing that, I think I will do the test live stream on my second channel. So you will see it also. Yeah, so finally, I was planning actually to get Windows PC and uh, yeah, start the analysis and trace. So finally, it's almost done. Okay, so yeah, so let me quickly cover the forex pairs first. So I will cover the pound CAD first. So let me close the poll. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see the result. Okay, um, yeah, yes, 60%, no, 40%. Okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see, yep. Now it's going down due to US ISM PMI positive. Yeah, we'll see. Frank says, uh, Kaysen, I have a question if the half the candle in Senko Span A, but Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross. Uh, Tenkan Sen, Gold Cross, Kijun Sen, is it bullish? 
Um, yeah, I would say uh, if Tenkan Sen crosses Kijun Sen, I mean, if it happens above the Kumo, that's bullish. But if you see Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross below the Kumo, uh, that only simply means that that's the end of the downtrend. So, have to be careful in that area. So, uh, yeah, so first I would like to cover the pound CAD. This is daily chart. Daily chart shows that this is ranging, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. But uh, I, today, I was actually seeing this market too, and I saw the P wave break out upwards. So I look at the forward chart, and it is going up right now. And it's about to break the resistance level. So this is one of the pairs that I'm forecasting today, pound CAD. And overall, this is like ascending P wave. The lows are higher, and highs are at the same level. And this is ascending P wave and expect the market breaks upwards this way. But um, we have a long week pointing upwards on the flower chart right now, so the market might drop down uh, this week and persistently go up towards this direction. So um, if I just look at the one hour chart, uh, this is still a bit supported by this Kijun Sen and the most recent candlestick is bearish. So I am actually waiting for the, this candlestick to close. And if it closes above the Kijun Sen, then um, most likely it breaks upwards today. So I will be looking at the lower time frames and capture the buying edge afterwards. This is also the potential reversal too. The previous resistance can be supported right now and goes up also. So we'll see if it happens or not in the short, short term. Yeah, Kumo is nicely going up in one hour chart, and Kijun Sen is going up too. So this is a good confirmation to buy. Yeah, but uh, the, this um, Chikou span is too close with the candles. So that's why I'm waiting for this candle close to see if this candle close will be below the Kijun Sen or not. And also, if Chikou Span will touch the candles or not. Because if it does, the market can retrace all the way back to the Kumo. So this candlestick is going to be closing in about 48 minutes. So I will just wait for that right now. And also, um, I would like to talk about the USDJPY. So USDJPY is, uh, oh, it was going down, but uh, now it retraces backwards so heavily. So um, yeah, let me come back to daily chart. Daily chart just broke the Kumo downwards uh, with the Sanyaku Gyakuten signal yesterday. Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen did cross Chikou Span breakout, and Kumo breakout is the Sanyaku Gyakuten signal. So from here, the market uh, expecting it to go down this way. But today is bullish, today is retracing backwards, so the market might be in the range for a couple of more days. Um, let me look at the forward chart. Okay, in the forward chart, this is bearish, the Kumo's pointing down and Kijun Sen's pointing down, and right now price is retracing back to the Kijun Sen. So it may be resisted by this Kijun Sen in the forward chart, and goes down this way continuously. But if it breaks the Kijun Sen upwards, then it might become range or retrace backwards to the Kumo in unstable direction. So yeah, just wait until this candlestick closes in the forward chart in about uh, two hours and 47 minutes. And if it closes below the Kijun Sen, then um, the market still might be downtrend. But if it closes above the Kijun Sen, then um, we might see some retracement uh, back to the Kumo. So that's, that's something that I actually look at it also today. And also, um, Euro Swiss run, this is also bearish in the daily chart. This is going down. So this one I put the analysis today in my um, TradingView account. I have um, 
chart my analysis that this is bearish euro cis friend by daily chart and because the market broke the previous support levels just um, today yesterday it broke downwards and looks like it, the market is heading backwards towards the the next support level at uh, 1.0659 area so this is continuously bearish in my view but uh, today is bullish today it's retracing backwards so in this condition I will have to wait um, let me check the one hour chart in one hour chart you can see the retracement after this um, pin bar the market has been bullish in wave so uh, I am actually watching and see if the market will be resisted by this previous support level at 1.0738 if it's going to be resisted then there is a still chance that the market continuously go down this way towards daily direction but if not then um, it can retrace or it can be range or it traces backwards so in that case I just simply wait until one hour chart goes up by Kumo Kijun Sen and then look for some opportunities so but yeah this one is also retracing backwards so it's kind of difficult to see which way it's going right now yeah so um, let's see so these are three pairs that I wanted to talk about today pound CAD and um, USDJPY and Eurosis run okay and so let me cover the gold next So gold has been kind of spiky right now, but let me cover the daily chart first. You know, you always have to look at the bigger picture and break it down to the lower time frames. So as per daily chart, you can see that the Kumo is flat still. Kijun Sen is pointing upwards, but technically this is like overall flat, flat Kijun Sen. Chikou span also within the Kumo here. So this is ranging right now. The market is just going up, up and downwards and simply this is ranging. And the price, the market is exactly in the Kumo now. So when you see the market into the Kumo here, uh, the market can be very spiky. It goes up and down, very spiky. So if you want to take trades, you have to be very careful for the risk management. And um, in terms of the forward chart, this is also ranging too. In the forward chart, Kumo flat still, overall Kumo flat. And Kijun Sen flat right now, and Chikou Span still overlapping with the candles, and this is ranging now. Yeah, there is no direction in the forward chart either. And here is one hour chart. In the one hour chart, uh, there is a huge retracement happening right now. Today it was bullish, but suddenly, right now it's going bearish. So simply I'm waiting for the market to break this uh, previous uh, near the resistance level at 1834.84 level just waiting for the market breaks out and we, if it breaks out this way then I expect the market continuously go up but if until it happens it can be very ranging so simply I'm just waiting for the breakout to happen otherwise I simply stay away from this market So, yeah, so let's cover the other one, oil. So here is WTI crude oil, and if you look at the daily chart, I mean, in the lower time frame, one hour chart or lower time frames are downtrending, continuously downtrending on the reversed in a wave. So if you are an intraday or scalper, I think sell will be right call in this kind of market. But if you see the daily chart, if you are a swing trader who follows the daily chart or the higher time frames, this is still within the P wave. This is, I would say, still within the ascending P wave. So the market is dropping downwards 
to the trend line and it may bounce and it goes up this way. So, um, yeah, we'll see which way it goes. Right now, it's just dropping downwards, but um, it doesn't mean it keeps going downwards in this case. So, simply, it's yeah, it's just retracing backwards to the to this uh, trend line, I would say. So that's the WTI. Um, quickly looking at the weekly chart, this is still bullish. You know, weekly chart is still showing bullishness on oil. The Kumo is going up still. And Kijun Sen is pointing upwards too. So I would say that this is too bullish. Yeah, this Kichiko span is above the candles too. So yeah, the market might head backwards to this Kijun Sen and bounces by the Kijun Sen and goes up this way. This is also the scenario, possibly. So yeah, so let's um, look at some uh, indexes. I, I picked up two interesting indexes today. One is CAC France. CAC France broke the previous high, 6687.30, and this is going up still. This is a weekly chart. You know, Kumo's up. Kijun Sen is going upwards right now. So, as I mentioned on the Sunday's weekly forecast, yeah, this is bullish. And right now, it just broke the previous resistance level, and the market can still keep going up on this direction. Chikou span is above the candles too, so this is nicely bullish trend. And also, um, Nifty chart. Similar, similarly, Nifty chart on the weekly weekly broke the previous resistance level, and also the round number sixteen thousand. So as I mentioned on the Sunday's forecast, it broke the previous resistance and this is continuously bullish trend. Yeah, right now Kumo is going up. Kijun Sen is going up also. Looks like the market has been supported by this Tenkan Sen and continuously moving up. Yeah, the Chikou span is above the candles too. So no doubt this is uptrend. So you can now look for the buy chains on this particular index too. So uh, yeah, so these are my overview on these markets. So um, yeah, let's see. Let me quickly check some other markets now in Forex. I actually checked some charts uh, today, this morning, and also uh, before the live stream starts, but I don't feel positive to take trades on any market. So simply, I'm staying away today. And tomorrow, you know, we have big news, and also Friday too, we have some big news. So, yeah, every first week of the month, we have big news in the market. So, the market can be very tricky and spiky. So, yeah, if you're not confident, then I recommend you to stay away from this market for this week. Let's see, let me come back to some comments now. Yeah, so there is US PMI effect, that's true. Yeah, the market is affected heavily by the, by the news today. Yeah, let's see. Hello, Preet, thank you for joining, great to see you. And Marusan too, good to see you too. All right, Orvin, thank you for joining as well. All right, Raymond says, uh, hello, Kay, please, how do you close a trade with Ichimoku without losing a certain amount of uh, profit? I think waiting for the Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen crossover is too lagging. Yeah, I would say it's too lagging. Um, yeah, Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen cross is too lagging. So if you see the market retraces backwards to the Kijun Sen, that will be one of the timings for exit. But if you st if you still see that it's too lagging, too late, then you can exit at the at the, at the uh, Tenkan Sen breakout. Yeah, when the market retraces backwards and breaks a Tenkan Sen, this can be an exit timing. But it also depends on uh, where you have placed a sell. You know, if you have placed a sell all the way back here, then uh, you can exit uh, after this uh, Tenkan Sen breakout. 
but if you sell it here, then uh, maybe this might be too late. So you have to have some other confirmations to exit earlier positions. And you can do so by looking at the lower time frames and capture when to exit in earlier timing in that way. Yeah, Johnny, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> you and my analysis on last week on Nifty was correct. Yeah, it is uptrending right now, Nifty. So Johnny says, what's next for Nifty now? All right, so let me see. Nifty chart. Let's see. Yeah, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So it's just going up right now. So looks like the market is heading towards the next run, run number, which is um, 16,500 is the next target looks like. <clears throat> Let me just uh, put it as exact number. Yeah, I think this will be a potential target as the next round number. And in this case, also, uh, we have to look at the higher time frame. So let's check the weekly time frame. So as per weekly chart, this is also very much bullish trend. And um, yeah, very nice. Very nicely uptrending. So um, yeah, I guess um, it's just reaching towards all time high and the next none next run number I would say yeah let me just in case look at the monthly chart too the monthly is also uptrend bullish and um, yeah it just goes uh, it just goes keeps going up as it goes so I would keep trading the profits as long as possible as long as the market goes upwards in this case Um, let's see, let me come back to some other comments now. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, Mano, Mano Rajan says, uh, Mr. K, do you follow order flow in live market to know who was controlling over the market? Um, I don't lo really look at the order flow or um, market orders. I used to watch that, but I don't watch it anymore because uh, I prefer the support line, resistance lines on the daily chart or the weekly chart. But yeah, market order uh, definitely helps to, to potentially see when, where exactly the next resistance support levels. So I think that's good. But um, yeah, I basically um, follow more on the resistance and support levels on the previous highs and lows on the daily or weekly time frames. So yeah, coming back to some other um, forex market now. Let's see. Euro JPY is also flat on the daily chart. Euro CAD exactly flat. The price is exactly in the Kumo now. So this is a very tricky market. We have to stay away. Euro Swiss France is still going down, but as I mentioned before, today's bullish retracing. So, unless we also see downtrend in the lower time frames, we better wait, stay away. Oh, um, other thing I want to mention is Data Swiss Fran. Yeah, Data Swiss Fran um, is about to reach the the end of the focus lines. So today, tomorrow is a focus line day. And it looks like the market is landing below the forecast lines. So if it lands below it, then from, uh, from uh, yeah, Friday onwards, the market can be bearish. <clears throat> so today is bullish. And also this is engulfing candle. This is outside bar. So uh, from tomorrow or the day after tomorrow and onwards, if it sees a breakout of the support level, at uh, 0.90185 level, then um, that must be a downtrend continuously. 
So simply waiting for that to happen and look for the sell chance afterwards. Yeah, Manorajan, you're welcome. <coughs> Okay, let's see. Here says, how you think about trade for funds like the five FTMO? Um, uh, you mean like a fund, a fund trading? Uh, fund trading, uh, I have never experienced that before, so I'm not sure. I have only uh, traded uh, based on my own money, but... Um, yeah, I think that's also a good option to to uh, to try your skills. If it works good, then that's good. Yeah, you don't lose anyways. So if you pass a challenge, then uh, yeah, it, you can uh, keep keep trading that way, and eventually you can trade your by your own money. Let's see, other markets, uh, yeah, Euro, Pound, AUD, Pound AUD is uh, still uptrend bullish because the price is above the Tenkan Sen still, but Kumo is now flat, Kijun Sen now flat, so it maybe tries backwards to the Kijun Sen in this case. And today is bullish but very weak, there is almost no trend today. So simply stay away is the key. Let's see. Oh, Preet says, um, okay, while placing a trade on the five minute time frame after analyzing a day and one hour time frame, do you hold the trade after placing the trade for one hour or more and then exit the trade? Or, uh, what, please? Uh, I will, usually what I do is I place the break even line and simply let the time go let the time go by. I don't quickly take profit because after I set the break even line, then um, I don't lose anyways. It's my mindset. So if I once I set the break even line, then simply come back to charts maybe a couple of hours later. And if the market is still going towards my direction, then I will trail. If not, then simply I exit with the break even. But that is my style, you know, I am more of a day to swing trade, so I don't usually close the position within a day. I mean, um, if the market doesn't last that long, if the trend doesn't last that long, then I will exit in that case, of course. But my intention, my expectation is that I keep holding that position for a couple of days. So, yeah, I used to be a scalper, but uh, it wasn't my style. I, I get so tired by taking trades maybe 20, 30, sometimes 40 times per day, and just entry exit, and that was, I found, is, my, is not my style. So, yeah. Um, okay, yeah, so looks like the market is arranging now. So maybe I will screen by one hour chart and see which one's trending by one hour chart. Because technically we can follow the one hour chart trend direction also. Okay, so yeah, USDJPY is going up right now due to the positive outcome on the US news today. All the USD pairs are going up right now. And pound dollar is going down due to this positive news outcome in the US just earlier. But looks like yeah they are going against the major direction. So yeah this is a very tricky market. Even one hour chart, I don't see any trends. So this is kind of unusual. But it, it's, it happens after the news. Yeah, after the news happens like this, let's say the market was a bit bearish downtrend, 
but the news actually comes in and it actually wipes all these, you know, uh, uh, these uh, balance, buyers and sellers balance, and it just goes against the direction. So. Yeah, Hio, you're welcome. Lomark says, um, hi Kay, hope you're doing well. Can I use my own trading edge at five minutes for entry? Sure, you can do that. I usually take trades by five minute chart, five or 15 minute time frames. So yeah, you can do that too. Abhishek says, uh, please explain how can we use the tick charts for our trading. Um, tick charts are more for the scalpers, but um, I don't use the tick charts, but sometimes I look at the one minute chart for extra confirmations. But usually I take trade in five or 15 minute time frames. And I think tick charts are for more for the scalpers. All right, Preet, you're welcome. So it looks like the markets are going towards opposite directions. I think USDJPY is very significant. It was downtrending, but this news actually wiped up and it actually goes up right now. Yeah, Dalek, that's true. News tsunami, this is what's happening right now in the market. Yeah, so no matter how many hours we take to analyze charts and expect the market direction, then one news can wipe off all these uh, confirmations. So, yeah, that's what's happening right now. All right, Hon, thank you for joining, and Jorg, good to see you too. It's nice. Anthony says, Euro Swiss Fran coming back down nicely. All right, let me check Euro Swiss Fran. Oh, yeah, it looks like uh, it's, it's uh, resisted at this uh, previous support levels at uh, 1.0738. It's rejected, so it might go down afterwards. We'll see. So here, too, we have to wait for the candle close. It takes another 23 minutes to close. So unless it closes, we never know if this, if this is gonna become a pin bar or not. Since this is one hour chart, it takes one hour to close. I used to jump into the market like when I see this kind of pin bar. Oh, I think uh, this is a pin bar, so let me sell. And I place a sell and the market goes up this way. And that was because I was not waiting for the candle close. Yeah, I think uh, the count about the explanation about the books is that the charts are freezing and you can't really explain, you know, um, deeply when the charts are freezing like on the paper. And that's why I started to do the live streams and explain in, in this ongoing market. I used to take like a pictures create, I used to create the uh, create the pictures or these uh, illustrations, diagrams, and explain by uh, video editing. But I thought it's not really practical because the charts are freezing. So that's why I shift myself to do live streams every day, almost since 2020 January. So yeah, waiting for the candle close is also the key. But at the same time, speaking of this pin bar, you can kind of sense if the market is gonna be bearish or not by looking at the lower time frames too. So if you put the like a magnifying glass and go down to the five minute chart, then you see the movement. So this is what happens in one hour chart or still forming. So this is what happens in one hour chart. It started at um, 2 p.m. and still forming. That one hour candle close is going to be here. 
So it's gonna have more one, two, three, four, five more candles for this one hour chart candles to close. And here at the reversal, in five minute chart, you see the market has been like a bullish trend, bullish candlestick, and there is a doji candlestick twice. And this twice doji candlestick has been broken downwards, and now it's going down. So until this one hour, chart, one hour candlestick closes, um, what I usually look at is that if the market is going to be on the bearish in the wave, because if it goes on in, if it goes to the bearish in the wave in five minute chart, and also in one hour chart as a pin bar like this, um, potentially the market goes down afterwards. So um, you can uh, look at the lower time frames and see how the wicks are formed in five or even one minute chart. And that helps actually to see if this pin bar is reliable reversal uh, signal or not. Sometimes at the top, you might see also pin bars in five like this. You might see pin bars in five minute chart like this also. And you can expect the market reverses afterwards too. Or at this pin bar, you might see like a um, head and shoulders in five minute chart too. So the markets are fractal, so you can uh, look at the lower time frames and see details of like one hour chart or the daily chart candlestick formations, like in this way. Okay, let's see. Hello, Danish. Thank you for joining. Great to see you here. Valky says you can check GU. Yeah, GU, I think it's still ranging. Let me check daily chart. As per daily chart, yeah, it's still ranging. It's flat. Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, so no trend. Today's Doji candlestick, so it shows that simply there is no trend for today. Sorry, my throat condition is not really good today, so you might find some, my voice is a bit lower today. Let's see. Oh, Marison says, finally caught a good move on Cat JPY. That's good, that's good. Got wiped out in the next minute. Yeah, so hopefully you had the risk management and you don't lose big is the key. Uh, okay, two Avery says, uh, what does extend the train, train, trading hours mean on TradingView? Uh, extending trading hours, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there's a such a function like that. Okay, Neil says, K, hey, have you tried combining ADX with Ichimoku? Um, no, I haven't used ADX before. So, I'm not sure. All right, looks like gold is moving right now. I will check it soon. Carbon says, um, are Kijun, sen Kijun and Kihon the same meaning? No, it's different. Different. Kijun means like standard, and Kihon means base or basic in Japanese. So technically, it's different. Orvin says, in Eurosis fan, is it reacting to the weekly single span B support? Let me see. Eurosis fan weekly single span B support. Um, yeah, yeah, looks like uh, it's, it's, it was supported by this single span B level and now we're tracing backwards. Yeah, but once it breaks, it can drop all the way down to the previous support at 1.0659 area.
Okay, so let me check the gold right now. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, gold weekly chart ranging many weeks up and downwards. Very tricky market. Today's doji candlestick on the weekly. And based on the daily chart, this is also ranging too. Looks like the market was rejected at the top and still ranging. But it doesn't mean that the market keeps going down this way. It might become range, is my view here. All right, let's see. Dink says, um, when in a downtrend, Kumo pointing down, Kijun Sen pointing down, if Senko Span B goes flat, does this mean the market is starting to range? Um, yeah, potentially, if you see Senko Span B to be flat, then that means the market is flat ranging as per long term. But you can still follow the Kijun Sen direction. But once the market breaks a Kijun Sen upwards, then it might become range in the long term. Romark says, uh, one more question, Master K, is at uh, this time about your Skiasix trading edge. When on the bearish trend and the gold cross already happens, do you wait for the another gold cross to happen for entry? Uh, when the market is bearish, I look for the dead cross only. I never tried gold cross when it's bearish. But uh, yeah, if it's bullish trend, if, it, the, if the market goes up, and yeah, you can wait for the next gold cross to come, and that can be an edge. But make sure you combine other confirmations. Don't take gold cross by itself to take trace. You have to also look at the price action lines and other confirmations, as always. Hello, Faiz. Thank you for joining. Great to see you here. Let's see. Trader uh, Steve says AUDCAD. Is it trending down? Let's see. AUDCAD pair. This is. Um, this is uh, still, I would say, ranging. There's no downtrend right now. But let me check the day, one hour chart. In one hour chart, the market broke the Kijun Sen. And simply this means that the market is reversing backwards. And it may be range, it may be downtrend, or it might start to go upwards from here, and we don't know which it's going. Yeah, all we can say is that the market just retraced in backwards and the market lost its uptrend. Yeah, I think um, in this case, uh, the market broke the support level or the reversal level at 0 0.9264 level. So previous resistance supports has broken, so it might become bearish in this case by price action. Okay, two way very says that if you right click the dates at the bottom of your chart, you will see the option. Oh, uh, which option? Hold on. If I right click, there is nothing happening. Maybe dates here. Oh, okay, here, time zone, session breaks, extended trading hours. Oh, this one, extended trading hours. I never touched this one before. Not sure. I just click on this one, but uh, looks like there is, there is no change here. Yeah, simply I don't use that one. I disable and keep using trading view.
Oh, Danish, thank you for the comment. Exceeding trading hours are for big investors, fund managers who are allowed to trade after the USA market close, closes. Okay. So simply it actually shows the extra, yeah, like extend the extra hours for the markets. Okay. He also says, uh, can you explain for us how you trail trading stops for most profit? Um, yeah, so simply I trail the profits if the market trends. Let's say the market goes up in this direction and I move the stop losses. So original stop losses is here. And as the market goes this way, I move the stop loss to the previous low like this. And this is how I simply trail the profits. I manually move the stop loss like this and trail the profits along this way. Okay, yeah, Marison, that's true. Break even in place. Okay. But these markets really live up to the death by a thousand cuts. Yeah, we have to keep planting the seeds because we never know which one sprouts. So we just keep planting the seeds in the, in the trending market. And if only one sprouts, and that one sprout, two sprouts, can cover these previous losses is the idea. So, but until then, we have to keep putting positions on the trending market. All right, thank you for joining everyone. Great to see you. Uh, okay, Fam says, uh, how long do you stay away when news comes, hours or day? Um, I would say one hour would be enough. Usually after the news, one hour, if one hour happens after the news, then the market settles down. So, but uh, yeah, make sure you don't trade right after, like five minutes or 10 minutes after, uh, the market still can be very spiky. Let's see, Preet says, uh, when you say ranging on the one, one day time frame in pound USD pair, do you see at least, do you see last five to six candles in order to confirm that it's in the range? Um, pound USD, let me see. Uh, when I see range, I say the price in the Kumo now and Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, and Chikospan touching. This is range. This is definition range by Ichimoku. So, yeah, um, when I say range, that's by Ichimoku, not by the price action, by Ichimoku. So, yeah, please just uh, do, please don't get confused by that. Okay, Ethereum says, uh, I made good pips with NZ the last night. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah, I don't usually trade NZD pairs because it's kind of spiky in lower time frames and the spreads for the broker is a bit higher. So I prefer to be in the major and minor pairs. Okay, Bitcoin, let's see. Is it bullish still? Let's see. I checked it a couple of days ago and it was bullish. But um, let me see. As per daily chart, looks like this is, I would say, range. Yeah, once again, Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat. Right, so the market was uptrending, but afterwards it went backwards. Looks like the market is still resisted by the previous resistance levels. So this is still in the range. The market is just going up and downwards and in the range market now.
Okay, let's see. Uh, I don't use Elliott waves. I don't use it. I use the Ichimoku wave analysis. They are similar. Elliott wave, Ichimoku wave are a bit similar, but um, yeah, technically, it's a bit different. <clears throat> Trader Steve says that if there a way to tell the momentum a pair can break through an Ichimoku cloud. Um, you know, everything's unknown, so yeah, AUDC, AD, come on, breakout. It may happen, it may not happen, and no one knows about it. But uh, yeah, like uh, if it breaks, I mean, uh, the market should go up to break that Kumo, so it may take a while for sure. You have to break the resistance levels and break the Kumo upwards eventually. Carbon says, is Satoshi Nakamura really exists? I'm not sure, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Oh, Gabby, thank you for liking the live stream. Thank you so much. Tyro says, can we see US 30? Let's see. Dow Jones, if, I think it's still ranging. Let me check the daily chart. Yeah, daily still ranging at the higher level and the, on the range. So, yeah, looks like it's about to break upwards, but still, it's been ranging now. Let me check the weekly chart one more time. Yeah, weekly shows that this is up. You know, you see Kumo's up, bullish, and the Senko Span A is up, and Kijun Sen is up. So, I would say that the market is about to break the resistance level upwards in this direction. It may happen this week or next week, I would say. Okay, let's see. Yeah, Brian, yeah. US 30 looks to be up, still bullish. Let me check um, Nasdaq. Yeah, Nasdaq is flat now. Nasdaq Kumo's up, but Kijun Sen flat. So if you compare Dow Jones and Nasdaq, I would say Dow Jones has more bullish power than this uh, Nasdaq here. Because the Kijun Sen is pointing upwards here. DR says, um, Hello, sir, can you please share your moving average strategy with us? Um, I have videos about moving average strategies, so you can watch the video on my YouTube. You can come to the playlist and select the moving average strategies. Everyone says, uh, why you hate price action? I don't hate price action. I love price action. Without the knowledge of price action, I couldn't master Ichimoku, for sure. Edge says, uh, thanks, Sir K, for every live session you made. You not only share your thoughts and ideas, but also profit and learning. More than trace, you share life. Sure, thank you for the comment. Thank you for the comment. Yeah, I like to share my ideas and thoughts about my trace and also market views by Ichimoku, and that's why I do this every day. If I hate this, then I wouldn't be doing this every day. So, yeah, we have to do the things that we like or love to do. Okay, so I guess uh, that's it for today's live stream. Thank you for, once again, joining everyone on this live stream today. I hope you learned something new on my live stream today also. 
And uh, yeah, a couple of quick announcement is that the, uh, the GTS coming up in October, there are only three seats left right now. So if you're interested in my hands-on training on the GTS, please let me know by the link below description. All right, so yeah, today's Wednesday. Uh, please, uh, uh, yeah, just uh, be precise on entries and exits with the stop losses. And I will see you on the next one. So until then, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. All right, bye for now, everyone. Matane. Thank you.